Hey, hey friends, it's Tyler from Rehab to Fab Designs, and today we are going to be painting and decorating this small wooden tray that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I am going to be painting it using Dixie Bell Paint Company products because as you know, I am a content creator for them, which means I get to use and try out all their fabulous products. We're gonna be using chalk mineral paint in a new color called Cobblestone. And I am going to be giving you a all-inclusive look at their newest transfer called Hydrangeas and Lilies, which is composed of the most gorgeous flowers, hummingbirds, little tiny birds, butterflies, etc. And I'm so in love with it. It's smaller in scale and it's going to be perfect to decorate these wooden boxes. So let's get started. These boxes are pretty simple and they are pretty smooth. However, um, when you paint them, I think the water in the paint actually kind of opens up the wood grain. So it does cause them to get a little rougher. So you'll want to make sure you sand this after you get it painted. I'm putting on two coats of the new color from the Cottage Collection. It's called Cobblestone and it's a perfect neutral light tan color. I'm applying it using one of Dixie Bell's synthetic brushes known as the Dixie Bell Mini. It's a great brush, super easy to handle, and it's great for getting in corners like you see on the box here. After applying two coats, I allowed it to dry thoroughly. It really dries pretty fast. Um, chalk mineral paints being chalk based in nature, they do dry fast. Once dry, I'm coming in with a 400 grit sandpaper to sand it just to make sure it's nice and smooth and knock off any rough edges. I typically sand all my pieces because I do want them to be nice and smooth when you touch them um, or rub across them with your hand but it's especially important to do it when applying a transfer because you want to make sure you have a smooth surface so that your transfer lays flat on your project and doesn't have any problems with sticking to it. Here's a close-up look at some of the designs that come on this particular transfer. As you can see, we have lilies, we have hydrangeas, we have groupings of flowers, there's daisies on it, there's a hummingbird, another little bird, some greenery, and some butterflies, and it is just super cute and easy to layer and stack to create very pretty images. I actually picked up two of these trays at the store, so I'm going to be painting the other one in another color that will coordinate nicely with this transfer. For it, I'm choosing Savannah Mist, which is a nice neutral blue-gray color offered by Dixie Belle. We're going to apply two coats to this tray as well, and then sand it smooth once dry. This transfer comes with two larger groupings of what I would consider um, like a corner piece, meaning that it has kind of a, an angle, like a 90 degree angle of designs. So I'm going to use one of each of those in each tray and place them down in the corner. I'll use the other remaining pieces that are in smaller singular groupings or just a smaller grouping of flowers than this larger corner piece to spread throughout and decorate the whole bottom of this tray. Anytime I'm using smaller pieces like this from a transfer that just has multiple smaller images, I do like to try to um, stack them up so um, I will kind of think about my placement beforehand, lay it out, look where I'm going to put it, and um, coordinate it accordingly because I do like to layer them so that it looks more realistic. So you'll want to put some pieces in the background um, or behind um, other pieces, other images, and this I just feel like gives it a little more depth and a little dimension and makes it look a little more realistic. So again, I like to kind of lay them out and figure out my placement before actually putting them on. Once I have my design laid out, I will pick up the pieces and move them and start applying them. 
transfers come in a couple of pieces. There is a white backing to them and there is a clear front. On the clear piece is where the design is actually printed and it's sticky on the back side. So when you're ready to apply it, you simply peel the back off, lay it in place, and then they come with this cute little rubbing stick that you use to rub over the top of the clear portion. And this will take the image off the clear piece and adhere it to your project. Here you can see I'm moving the pieces around working on my layered look. I'll rub over the entire transfer with my stick and then once I've done the whole thing I'll start to kind of lift up on one corner or one little side and I will start lifting the clear part up as I'm rubbing in the same area making sure that my transfer is sticking to my project. Oh, check out this hummingbird. Isn't it gorgeous? Y'all, this is why I actually picked this transfer out because I love the hummingbird so much. Once I finished applying the transfer, I came back over it with a clear coat from Dixie Bell. This is their top coat. I'm gonna use it to seal it to protect it. One, to protect the finish, and two, to seal in my transfer so that it doesn't peel off. I'm using another synthetic brush for this. This is a flat medium. I'm going to apply a total of two coats to make sure it is nice and protected. Here they are all finished up. These are super easy DIY projects that you can do for your own home or if you sell furniture and small items in a booth or a shop. These are super easy to do for those. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe to the Dixie Bell and Rehab to Fab Designs YouTube channels. Click on the bell to turn on notifications and we'll see you next time. Thanks.